Hello and welcome to Linux Leech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the rm and rmdir commands. So let's get started. Okay, the first step you want to take is to open up your terminal. Now you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is holding Control and Alt and pressing T, or you can open up from the GUI. Okay, so rmdir stands for remove directory, and that's what it allows you to do. It allows you to remove directories and directory structures. So Let's start off with an example. I'm just going to change directory up to my desktop. And let's start off by making a directory. So mkdir and then let's call it hello. Okay, so as you can see on the desktop, that directory has been created now. So now, if we just type in rmdir to remove directory and the name of the directory and hit enter, it's been removed successfully. So it works fine for empty single directories. Let's see how it works with directories that have got other directories inside them. So let's mkdir to make a directory and let's make a structure. So let's just keep it simple and we'll do a QWERTY structure. So q forward slash w forward slash e forward slash r forward slash t and y. So there we go. So we've got our directory structure here. So the bottom directory is the Y directory. And then above that is T, R, E, W, and Q. And I'm actually missing a an option for MKDIR to allow me to do this, which is dash P for parents. And now let's just hit enter. And there we go. We've got the directories here. So just to make sure that everything went smoothly, let's just ls dash capital R for recursive and then the Q directory, which is the topmost directory. And let's hit enter. And there we go. We can see that it did create the directory structure that we wanted. So that's all fine. So now let's type in rmdirq because we want to remove the Q directory. So let's hit enter. And we get... A message here which says fail to remove the Q directory the directory is not empty so to remove file structures what we would have to do is we would have to give RMDIR an option that will allow us to do that so if we type in RMDIR dash P which is the same option as we used for MKDIR and space and then we'll enter the full structure that we want to remove and if we hit enter now it will actually remove the entire directory structure but just to show you that it's doing that as it's doing it I'm going to add another option which is V and that stands for verbose which means that it will show you every single step that it takes while it's working so now if we hit enter we can see all of the steps that it took. So it started by removing the Y directory. And then once that was done, it's removed the T directory, which is directly above Y. And then it removed R and E, W, and it was finally left with Q and it removed that. So that's how to remove directory structures. And you can see here that it always works at the bottom most directory and works its way up. So let's recreate that directory structure again using mkdir-p and then the structure and hit enter and let's cd into q forward slash w okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to use cat to create a text file so cat and we're just going to redirect the output into text.txt and we're just going to enter some text uh, it doesn't really matter if I make typos enter some text okay and control D to save that and if we just do a quick LS from here we can see that we've created that so now I'm just going to CD back to my desktop and we'll just do an LS dash R capital R for recursive and the di top directory which is Q and there we go, we can see that the text file is actually there. So 
now let's try and use RMDIR with the P option and then the directory structure. So that's exactly what we used before to remove this exact same directory structure. So now let's see if it works. And there we go. So we've got another error and it says that the directory is not empty. And we've actually got our P option here, which is what we used before when we got the same error message. Now, if you just pay some close attention to this bit over here, it says that it failed to remove the Q forward slash W directory. So if we just do a quick LS dash R on the Q directory to see everything that's below that, we'll see that it actually has removed the Y, T, R and E directories, but it couldn't go any further because this text file is there. So to actually remove directories that have got files in them, we need to use another command and that command is RM, which just stands for remove. So if we type in RM and then dash lowercase r for recursive and space Q, which is the top level directory that we want to remove everything that's within it and lower than it. And then we hit enter and let's just type ls. We can see that everything's all gone. There's no Q directory anymore and everything below that has all been removed. So that's how to use the rm command, a brief example of how to use it. There are some other options and you can check out the man pages for that, but that's just the basic idea and difference between RMDIR, which is used for removing empty directories and empty directory structures, and RM, which you can use to remove directories, directory structures, whether they be empty or not, as well as a single file or a single directory. RM will allow you to remove any of those. So that's the main difference. Now, RM is a little more dangerous than RMDIR because it will allow you to remove directories that do contain files. So if you were unaware that files were in there, you could potentially delete some of your work. So I find that it's always a good idea to just run RMDIR first. And if that does come up with some error flags, then I know that there's the odd file in there and it will tell me where it is so that I can go down and inspect that file see if it's something I want to keep before I actually use RM to remove everything. So that's the kind of main differences between RMDIR and RM. And that's just brought us to the end of that tutorial. So thanks for watching and goodbye.